Don't you hate YouTube annotations? You've probably clicked that X a million times to get rid of those annoying pop-ups that distract you from the video that you want to watch. And YouTube finally caught on and created YouTube Cards, a new, cleaner looking, better way for YouTube creators to try to interact with the viewer throughout the video. So let's get straight into how to add YouTube Cards to your videos. So to add a card to a video, just select one of your videos. Then beneath the video, you will see the different options for editing. You will see annotations, which is the old version, but to the right of that is this little cards. So click that button, and it will pop up a little video player, a timeline, and this button that says add card. So you can scrub through the timeline with this timeline down here. You can even zoom into the timeline if you want. And then when you're at a spot that you want to add a little card, click that add card button. You have a few different options for types of cards that you can add. One is to an associated website, so this is your website that you've linked to your YouTube channel. One is for fan funding, so you can actually ask fans to donate a little bit of money to you. You can also add a card for fundraising, so if you have a project on Kickstarter or Indiegogo or some other websites, you can ask for fundraising support. If you have merchandise that you're selling on a supported website, you can create a little card that gets people to go to that site as well. Or you could link to a particular video or playlist of your choice. This can be your videos or anything out there on YouTube. I'm going to create an associated website card. So just cl click create, and then you have to find the URL to your website. For this particular video, I'm going to link directly to this page where I'm giving out a free guide to freelancing. And it's actually what I'm talking about in the video. So it's perfect. So just copy and paste the URL. It's going to think a little bit, and then it will pre-populate this website title box with the title that is taken from the website. So want to start a free successful freelance business. So that's a pretty good title for the website, so I'm just going to leave that there. And then call to action. This is where you really have to think about what will get the viewer to click on this card. What will get them to click to go to the website? So for this call to action, I will say, get the freelancing guide. I know there is a text limit, so if I say free freelancing guide, okay, so that's good. So I can say get the free freelancing guide. But if I say now, you will see that it's four characters over the limit. So you are only limited to a certain amount of text. You can also upload an image, so it'd be good if you have a square image or if there's multiple images on the website you can scroll through the different images to choose one that works but this one I think works well enough so then you just click create card and now you will see this little card pop up on the top right of the YouTube player right here so if we go back to our video and we play through it you will see that right around seven seconds this little eye pops up in the top right. And so if the viewer is interested, they can click this and this little card pops up. Want to start a successful freelance business? Get the free freelancing guide with our image behind and then the title of the website right here at the bottom of the image. So if someone sees this, they can click get the free freelancing guide and it takes them to the associated website. You have to first make sure that your website is associated with your YouTube channel. So to do that, you go under channel in your creator studio, and then under advanced, you will see this associated website option. And you have to go through a couple of steps to associate your website so that YouTube knows that it's actually your website. You can't just link to another website like Yahoo or Google or Facebook. You have to link to your own website. But once you do that, it's a great way to get people to come to your own website from YouTube videos. The best thing about the YouTube cards is that it's mobile friendly so that it works on iPhones and tablets and any other smartphone, unlike the annotations from before. So wherever you're watching it, people can actually click these cards and get to an associated website. So it's great for YouTube creators like myself to try to promote 
things offline, off on my own website. So if you have any questions about creating YouTube cards, please let me know. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing what you do with your own YouTube cards. Hey YouTube, you like that video? Well, please subscribe to the channel for more. Check out our website for articles, webinars, books, and more. And of course, check out our online course library, ranging on topics from video making, motion graphics, photography, starting a business, freelancing, to beer brewing, resume writing, adopting a cat, and much more.